Hello everyone, this is the Korean buddy, Sora. Alright, this is the last episode of this series. I'm so happy and I'm so proud of myself and you guys. Because, you know, I'm kind of person who kidding something in the middle without ending, but I made it in this episode. And you guys also have been with me together along this series, so I'm so uh, thankful about that. All right, then let's get started right away. I'm gonna start with number 91, which is 피하다. 피하다. 피하다, which means to avoid something. Here is an example sentence. 남자는 친구를 피해요. 남자는 친구를 피해요. Here, 남자, man, 는 is again, subject particle, and 친구 is just a friend. And 를, object particle, and 피해요. 남자는 친구를 피해요. Which means the man avoids his friend. And here is the word that I want to talk about is 친구. 친구 is just a friend, but when you put 남자 친구 or 여자 친구, when you use uh, these words, it means not just a friend. It is kind of um, the people your relationship. Like uh, 남자 친구 is your boyfriend and 여자 친구 is your girlfriend. So 남자 친구, 여자 친구, 친구. All right, and let's move on to the number 92, which is 화나다. 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 Which means to be angry, angry. So here is the example sentence. 저는 그때 화났어요. 저는 그때 화났어요. Here, 저는 again, I in a polite way, and 그때 is at the time, in the past. And 화났어요 is a past tense of 화나다. So I was angry at the time. 저는 그때 화났어요. Yeah, you can use it like that. Right, and number 93 is 확인하다. 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 Which means to confirm something. So here, example sentence. 저는 일정을 확인했어요. 저는 일정을 확인했어요. Here, 저는 is I and 일정 is a schedule. Well, in Korea, we use also schedule, schedule, 일정 schedule, we use both of them. But here I use just 일정. 저는 일정을, 을 is object particle, and 확인했어요. 확인했어요, this is a past tense. So, I confirmed the schedule. 저는 일정을 확인했어요. And let's move on to number 94. 활용하다. 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 Yeah, this is tri pretty tricky one to say it, to pronunciate. 활용하다, which means to use, utilize. So here is a picture where you can see um, there it was um, shirt, shirts, but it just becomes a, the bag. 저는 셔츠를 활용해서 가방을 만들었어요. Yeah, this is, I think, the most difficult sentence I, I ever used in this series. 저는 셔츠를 활용해서 가방을 만들었어요. Here, 저는 is I, and 셔츠 is shirt, just shirt. And 셔츠, 를 is object particle, and 활용해서 means using, using. So 활용해서, 가방을, 가방 is uh, object particle, a uh, 가방 is back, and 을 is also object particle, 만들었어요, made it. 만들었어요 is uh, the past, past form of 만들다, which is make. So 저는 셔츠를 활용해서 가방을 만들었어요 means I made a back using a shirt. Number 95 is 해결하다, 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 which means to solve something, like a problem. Here example sentence. 저는 그 문제를 해결했어요. 저는 그 문제를 해결했어요. Here 저는 is I and 는 is 는 is topic particle and 그 문제를 is 그 is the and 문제 is a problem. And it can be a situation, it can be a, uh, it can be like you can be in a, you guys were in a trouble or it can be just a math problem, whatever. Whatever, just a problem. 
So it can be 문제. 문제. 그 문제를 해결했어요. 해결했어요 means solved. This is the past tense. This is conjugated to be past tense from 해결하다. So 저는 그 문제를 해결했어요 means I solved the problem. And do you guys remember the verb 풀다? 풀다? This is also has meaning of um, solve something. So actually, um, 해결하다 and 풀다, they are synonyms. So you guys can say also like, 저는 그 문제를 풀었어요. 저는 그 문제를 풀었어요. Totally fine. 향하다. 향하다. 향하다, which means to face to some directions, to a direction. So here example sentence, 그 집은 남쪽을 향해요. 그 집은 남쪽을 향해요. Here, if the picture is facing to the south, face facing to the south, so 그 집 is the house, and 은 is subject particle, and 남쪽 is the south. And 을 is object particle and 향해요 means just to face. And uh, this is conjugated to be present tense. 그, 집, 그 집은 남쪽을 향해요. The house faces the south. This is one of the, um, the important factors when you're looking for a house, right? To get more sunshine. And number 87. 후회하다. 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 Which means to regret something. So here, 저는 제가 한 일을 후회해요. 저는 제가 한 일을 후회해요. Here, 저는 again, I and 제가 한일 is what I did. 후회해요 is conjugated from 후회하다 to be present tense. 저는 제가 한 일을 후회해요. 저는 제가 한 일을 후회해요. Yes. Uh, I hope that you won't use this phrase. I regret what I did. All right. And number 80, uh, 98. 흐르다. 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 Which means to flow. 강에 물이 흘러요. Here, 강에, 강 is river and 강에 is in the river. 물 is um, water and 이 is a subject particle. And 흘러요 from 흐르다. 강에 물이 흘러요. Water flows in the river. And number 99, which is 흔들다. 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 Which means to shake. Shake. So here is a picture where you can see a woman is shaking her head. head right? So example sentence. 여자는 머리를 흔들어요. 여자는 머리를 흔들어요. So 여자 is woman and 는 is sub, uh, topic particle. Uh, topic particle. 머리 is head and 를 is object particle and 흔들어요. 흔들어요 comes from 흔들다. This is also conjugated to be present tense. So 여자는 머리를 흔들어요 means the woman shakes her head. Okay, and this is the last word of this series, which is. 흘리다, 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 which means to shed. So here, example sentence, 그는 땀을 흘려요. 그는 땀을 흘려, 흘려요. Here, 그 is he, and 는 is topic particle, and 땀 is sweat. And 을, object particle, 흘려요. 흘려요 comes from 흘리다. So whole sentence means this sentence means he sheds sweat. 그는 땀을 흘려요. 그는 땀을 흘려요. All right. Here is your homework, and your homework is as we always do. You just make your own sentence sentences using today's vocabularies. Then please write them down, and I'm gonna check out check it check them out later. I feel so achieved to finish this series finally. And I really hope that this video series has been have been helpful to you when you were just studying Korean vocabularies. All right, and this is for today, and I'm going to see you next time. 그동안 시청해 주셔서 감사합니다. Bye bye. 안녕.